Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to our Tattleton Let's Play. Um, and if I can just be honest, it's been a while since I've logged into this account. I mean, it's it's been a few days. Um, if you look at our the attack log, I have no replays available. In the last attack, which frankly was an amazing attack, 600,000 Golden Elixir, 5,000 Dark Elixir, that was like four days ago. So it's it's been a while, um, and, and that's just because... I've, you know, been traveling. If you guys have been watching the last couple of days, first of all, yes, that's why there's no face cam, because it's difficult to get good lighting in a hotel room. I am here in Poland for the Clan War League's um, live streams for Supercell. We're doing a seven-day event. Be sure and check it out on the official Clash of Clans YouTube channel, or if I get a chance, actually, I want to be uploading these things on the uh, streams that I'm in, at least, on my channel here on this channel, Klaus Gaming. But, hey, for now, let's just talk about Town Town Let's Play. Um, I, I I think I picked a good time to kind of go AWOL. Um, and here's why. Because, first of all, look at that, 40-40. There is nothing more handsome than a 40-40 Town Hall 10. So, I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, well, maybe George Clooney. But besides George Clooney, yeah, 40-40 Town Hall 10, most handsome thing in the world. Um, but also, you know, hey, you know what? The laboratory is going to be done here in a few hours. And I have a bunch of stuff, actually, that needs to be changed on my progress base. Um, yeah, we got a lot of defenses that need to be upgraded, yeah. But also, yeah, the uh, electric collectors and gold mines need to be upgraded. The... Well, I th actually, I think that's it, because um, I think the air bomb upgrade is at Tunnel 11. That's right. That's the new air bomb upgrade, and the new bomb upgrade is at Tunnel 11 as well. So, actually, the only thing that we got as a Tunnel 10 through the update was these electric collectors and gold mines going to level the new level 13. Um, also, dark elixir drills, possibly? I don't even know. Am I missing them? Am I unable to see them? Did I move them already? Or am I blind? Oh, they're over here. They're in the corner. Cool. So, these upgrade as well. So, we... You know, it's actually a good time to kind of take a little bit of a break from farming this account hardcore because I've got a lot of super cheap, long-winded upgrades to do. Like, six days for half a million golden elixir is ridiculous. Um, it's going to make things so much easier on me for a little while, so I figured this is the time to use them. So, we're going to be probably upgrading those. We'll see. I've got a lot of elixir, so I'll probably do something in the laboratory at the end of the video. So, for now, let's do some up, uh, some attacks. And I don't know what was going on here. I don't know why we have 84 barbarians, 120 archers, and 6 miners. The next army is also barch. And I don't even know why I had barch trained up, to be completely honest. Uh, but we're going to use these armies. We're going to use these... Uh, the, the pre-cooked armies and just see what we can accomplish here. Um, again, it's been a long time, days and days, since I've logged into this account, mostly because I'm just traveling and it's hard, um, especially because I've got multiple accounts and you guys seem to really, really like Fix and Engineer. So, frankly, I've been just prioritizing that one, but also the big Tunnel 12 trophy push to, you know, as high as possible takes up a lot of time too. So this one, this account's kind of taken a, a backseat a little bit, but it will be Perfectly fine. It'll be all right. Don't y'all worry. We are back and we got lucky. Uh, Max Heroes laboratory coming available and and lastly, hey, you know what? Having the really cheap, long-winded upgrades just makes things easy for everybody. And plus, I mean, I think those should be prioritized over having better defenses because hey, um, higher level collectors than mines and drills, dude. That's free loot. Like who doesn't like free loot? How many times have I said that? Probably in this series. A lot of times. So, let me find uh, a perfect barge base. I am chilling. I think I'm in Master League, actually. I don't know. I'm either in Master or Crystal. I know we were just staring at that uh, the base for a long time. And, of course, I think most of these bases that we're looking at are actually in Master League as well. So, it might be difficult to find a base that is good for a barge. But, we're going to. We're going to find it. I'm going to be patient. So, let me find the perfect base for barge. Dead base. Collect the loot type of thing. And you and I will smash it together, or at least wrap it up. I, I always consider using Barch as wrapping up a base, not necessarily smashing, because we're probably not even going to get a one star, which is fine. I don't really care. Okay, I've been staring at this base for a little while, and it's not the ideal base, obviously. Um, the collectors and mines are empty. You know, the little ring, the little pink donut inside of there, that means that thing's empty. But the storages are on the outside. Well, pretty close. So I'm thinking we might be able to do decent on this base. And when I mean decent, I mean not fail too bad. Like, get decent loot. So I'm going to go ahead and go for it. My time here is limited for the recording. Uh, so let's just throw down some troops. Um, I'm going to try to get half my barbarians and half my archers down on each side of the base. I'm using my phone to record these attacks, and so I'm not able to use four-finger deployment, at least not very well. So I'm just using my thumbs here. And what I do for Barch is I throw down my 
Barbarians, half on the bottom, and then the archers, and then I do the same thing on the top, and that seems to work pretty well, but right now what I'm really hoping for is that my barge can get rid of the loot, or take out the loot out of some of these storages, like that gold storage went down, that was awesome, uh, this elixir storage looks like it's gonna go down, or at least get severely wounded, these didn't do that well, and neither did these, and neither did these, so it looks like this will probably be a disappointment of an attack, but hey, you know what, I tried, and I probably failed, but let's just see, let's see, good, good miners, good job, good job, good job, yeah, yeah, all right, good, I'm actually going to be going for gold, because I have a lot of elixir, and I don't think that the next upgrade that I really need to do um, in the laboratory is... Well, you can't use gold. <laughs> you can't use gold. I was about to say, I don't think I need that much gold for the lab. You don't need gold for the lab. That was stupid. But also, I don't think I need 8 million elixir. I think most of the upgrades that I want to do are 7 million or 6 million. So it's really not that big of a deal if I make it to 8 million elixir. So let's just see what the king does here. He's probably going to get the bomb tower. Oh, and then he's going to aggro the queen. Yeah, you get one good shot on that gold storage and then the queen ruined it. I didn't even think about that. I put him on put him on this side because there was nothing on the outside to distract him while the queen could probably get this loot, but now I'm starting to wonder. Huh. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and go on this side anyway because here's the thing. Because my barbarians and archers didn't even get the builder huts down, I'm assuming that means that the gold storage is full and the queen, level 40, total beast, should be able to get all of it. So, well done queen. Good job. She's at 49. Oh, please get 50. Just for the fun of it. Why, where are you going? Why would you go for that mortar? The archer tower was so much closer to you. That was so stupid. That was so dumb. Why did the queen do that? Everyone spam your dunce queen emote in the chat. Oh wait, that's streaming. Yeah, I'm not streaming right now. Um, okay, well, 280,000 gold is not terrible. I would have liked to have gotten maybe, a, you know, 100,000 or 300,000 more than that. But hey, you know what? It is all good. Lots of gold came into that. And we actually profited elixir still because barch is so dang cheap. Yes, a lot of people make fun of me. They're like, why do you use barch claws? It's such a cheap, lame attack strategy. I'm like, yo, I'm going to farm with what works. I'm going to I'm gonna war with what works too. And the war strategies are expensive. But I don't want to farm with something expensive. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I do mix it up. I get bored of barch every once in a while. So, But right now, everything is just fine with barch. And ooh, hey. Okay. You know what? Not bad. Not bad. I, I like this one. I like this one a lot. So I'm gonna actually gonna, gonna go Barbarians and Archers on this side, Barbarians and Archers on this side, and we'll see if we're able to get all of the loot out of here. Of course, this one will be easier because there's nothing behind it that we need loot out of. This one over here, a little bit more difficult. Let's go a few more Barbarians over here, a few more Archers over here, and hopefully we can get at least the Elixir out of this Collector. Come on. Come on. Watch out for the Mortar! Ugh. Oh, that's sad. So many dead bodies. All right, so uh, same thing over here. All right, and I'm actually going to do a two-finger deployment here and put down, put things down a little bit heavier because there are four gold mines and elixir collectors over here. Take them out. Actually, the heavier you go, the quicker things go down. The less likely you're going to fail in getting the loot. But the problem is that there's a lot of collectors and mines. There are 14 total collector and mines, and so I don't want to miss out. But and I'd rather. What are you doing, archers? What's wrong with my troops today? The archers are shooting the freaking wall. I want the elixir. You know what? I'm moving on. All right. That was just dumb. Um, I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is elixir over here. Why am I prioritizing elixir? I'm so programmed to prioritize elixir, but I really need gold right now. That's what I need. I need gold. So let's just, uh, let's just you know, get the gold, people, and not shoot the walls, archers. Oh, my goodness. What is up with the mortar right now? Leave me alone. There we go. All right, cool. And let's just put the rest of the archers. This is going to be a three-finger deployment. i put the rest of them down. I have no heroes to kind of back me up here. So this actually may be... Uh, well, obviously, we're not going to win the attack. We're going to lose trophies. But I think the the, pro the um, profit, the loot profit from this attack was actually really, really good. Um, but let's just see. Archer's about to get smashed. Watch out! Okay. Good job. Good try. You did, you did well. You fought valiantly. Um, and the gold mine doesn't even go down. Perfect. Okay. Why did the archers shoot the freaking wall over here? I, you know what I think? I think the archers were trying to target the queen. I think that's what was what was happening there. I don't know. That was really strange, though. But yeah, barbarians are going to be shot down at the wall. Unfortunate for them, but it is what it is. Now, there we go. Okay, that was still not very good. <laughs> that was actually less gold than earlier, but hey, you know what? The elixir profit was pretty good, too. I can live with that. So, for some reason, I have barch 
today. I don't know why there was Barch, but hey, it is. It's cool. I've got plenty of loot to do what I want to do today. We've got four builders available, and I'm going to use all four today. That's right. I'm going to be a, a rebel. I did also start this arch tower between episodes. I don't know when that was. Obviously, it was like two days ago, something like that, because that green bar is almost halfway through. So maybe it's like a four and a half day upgrade or something like that. But I did start that. That's going to max level. Um, but now I've got four builders to use up. So let's actually gem this wizard. I don't gem a lot, but you know, I'm in a different time zone and there's no way I could have filmed in 10 hours. So it's just not possible. So right now, what do we want to upgrade next? We got the giants. We have the wall breakers. We have these two lame troops. I don't use either one of those. Um, clone spell would be kind of nice. And then of course these Zark Elixir things, I probably won't be doing those until the end. So I'm thinking the most valuable troop is the giant, um, the giant actually, because you can use, uh, with Tunnel 10, we can use giants, bowlers, and witches and do a pretty decent war attack. So let's upgrade the giants, guys. Six million elixir, eight day upgrade in three, two, one, bam. Nice, okay, that's good progress, we're good. That was actually all we probably needed for the video, but now we're actually going to be upgrading some of these babies. Um, or can I afford, no, I can't afford any defenses. My cheapest defense is 4.5 million gold. That is that right there. And I don't even have that. Unless I have something in the treasury. I don't think so. Nope. Completely empty treasury. So, let's upgrade some collectors and mines. I mean, again, you know, some people will look at this and say, you know what, you're just wasting your loot. It's going to take you forever to get your loot back. But after that, after you get your return on investment, it's it's eternal. You're going to get 4,900 elixir or gold per upgrade forever per hour it's amazing so we're going to upgrade these things and i'm thinking yeah yeah it's probably let's use gold all right there we go that's one let's do two um should we do it evenly yeah let's do it evenly there you go and there you go so we got all four of those upgrading guys and i'm going to try to figure out a way to move these over to the progress base there's not a lot of room but or i could just leave them there you know, it doesn't really matter. We'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. Um, but there you go. Uh, using all four builders now. So it's going to be two days and a half before the arch tower is done. We'll have another builder available. But it is six days until the these four are done. So, you know, it's a cheap upgrade. It'll last a long time. It's a nice filler for any time you're busy. You don't want to farm and max out your storages or whatever. And that is exactly, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. That's exactly what I was hoping for was to get a cheap and easy upgrade so that I didn't have to spend hours and hours preparing for the video because I simply just don't have time being that I'm out of the country and with Supercell and with other YouTubers and it's just a good time. So, don't have a lot of time to play on my phone, but there we go. Um, and also, I did do one wall in between episodes, so there you go. Now it is now it is now notched. I would like to max out my wall soon anyway, but probably gonna have to wait until I'm home and I can like spend the really spend the time farming up these walls and maybe doing a stream or whatever. So, guys, that is gonna do it for me today. Um, it was a good time. Hey, you know what? A new lab upgrade is always good. Getting that giant done. Likely gonna be doing the wall breaker next. That's just my thoughts, but uh, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for what I should do, uh, do next. Obviously, we're gonna be prioritizing, uh, continuing to do the walls, continuing doing defenses, but I think collectors and mines should actually be our top priority anyway. Uh, and drills, of course, dark looks drills for free loot. I like free loot. Free loot is good. So, again, guys, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in for this episode of our Tunnel 10 Let's Play. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And as always, remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.